What's going on guys? It's Greg here, aka NY Prepper. In this video I'm going to be shooting an elephant gun at some level 4 ceramic body armor made by LA Police Gear. I'm going to be using a 416 Ruger which is basically a 416 Rigby or a 416 Remington Magnum shortened to a standard length so this cartridge has the same overall length as a 300 Win Mag or a 3006 but it can still generate up to 5,500 foot-pounds of muzzle energy which is almost as much as a 458 lot which tops out at around 5,800 foot-pounds of muzzle energy so I'm going to be shooting at the level 4 ceramic plate from 50 yards away with my Ruger M77 Hawkeye guide gun which has a 20 inch barrel and I'm going to be using some brass solids now I've already done this test before with the 416 Ruger and this rifle but I used steel jacketed solids and copper solids so in this test we're going to be doing brass solids okay I'm going to be using a 350 grain and a 400 grain brass solid and they're going to be hand loaded okay so here we have those brass solids and on the left we have the 350 grain brass solid and on the right the 400 grain brass solid and my favorite loads with these push the 350 grain brass solid to around 2650 feet per second which is right around 5000 500 foot pounds of muzzle energy and with the 400 grain brass solid I push that one to 2450 feet per second which is right around 5300 foot pounds of muzzle energy so a lot of punch in these cartridges and this cartridge is just impressive in terms of its ability to penetrate I've done a lot of different penetration tests with the 416 Ruger. It's an impressive cartridge, very underestimated, and a lot of people haven't heard of it. So if you want to see more of my 416 Ruger content and my 416 Ruger penetration tests, I'll leave a link in the top right corner to my 416 Ruger playlist, which has all of my 416 Ruger content. Okay, so brass solids versus level four ceramic body armor what do you guys think will it penetrate and do you think the 350 grain bullet will penetrate or the 400 grain bullet or neither of them are going to penetrate what do you think again the 350 grain bullet will be traveling 200 feet per second faster and about 200 foot pounds more energy than the 400 grain okay now let me just show you guys the rifle here so this is the Ruger M77 Hawkeye guide gun and I have an Athlon Midas BTR Gen 2 1 to 6 power scope and this scope is actually a warranty scope I had Athlon replace my previous scope because it actually broke from the recoil and so that just tells you how much power this cartridge has okay beautiful rifle i have these custom night sights from tool tech gun sight they have tritium vials there okay two tritium vials on this uh, rear express sight and then one tritium vial on the front sight with a white outline and I have run this rifle suppressed. If you want to see that, I'll leave a link in the top right corner. And I have this beautiful cartridge carrier from Mason Leather. If you want to get yourself a cartridge carrier like this, I have a discount code in the description below this video for 10% off. And what I love about this cartridge carrier is, first of all, it's beautiful, but it holds the cartridges just right so it's not too tight and it's not too loose and the leather is just super high quality look at that guys nice and thick unlike those cheap 
nylon cartridge carriers that just loosen up after one hunting season. I've had this thing for several hunting seasons and it's still holding the rounds nicely and you can get custom stamps on this side here. So what do you guys think? 416 Ruger with brass solids, hand loads. Can it penetrate a level four ceramic plate from LA Police Gear? And if you want to see part one, I'll leave a link in the top right corner. So let's see what happens, guys. Alright guys, first shot, 350 green, brass solid, go, fire in the hole. All right, guys, 416 Ruger, 350 grain, brass solid, 2,650 feet per second, 5,500 foot-pounds versus level four ceramic body armor from LA Police Gear. And here's our first hit. Look at this massive hole. Here's my finger. Look at the size of that hole. This hole is just insane. And we got some bullet pieces in there we got some chunks of brass stuck in there but it looks like it did not pass through on the first shot okay no pass through got a little chunk of brass here check that out almost looks like a little bit of gold okay but it doesn't look like we passed through at all so pretty impressive guys this LA police gear body armor is tough. So let's hit it again. Look at that huge bulge. I mean, if you were wearing this plate, man, your sternum is going to be broken and your organs are going to turn to jello. And we got a little piece of brass here on the bottom. Little uh, brass shrapnel. Check that out. So let's hit it again. Unfortunately, my sandbag got compromised, so I gotta figure something out. But I'm gonna keep hitting this plate until we either pass through or run out of ammo. So let's see if we can't punch through this plate. I'm gonna hit it again. I'm gonna aim in the same general area, basically.
All right, guys, 416 Ruger, 350 grain brass solid, 2,650 feet per second, 5,500 foot pounds. Second shot at this LA Police Gear level four ceramic plate. And looks like we passed through on the second shot. Check that out, guys. You can see all the Kevlar here ripped. So the second shot passed through and you can actually see where the bullet hit the sandbag here. After passing through, it hit the sandbag and it probably went up in the air. And it must be my lucky day, guys, because I accidentally left my camcorder sitting here because I was in a rush to uh, shoot before it gets dark. And I left my camcorder just sitting like that. And miraculously, my camcorder still works isn't that crazy look at that camcorder still works so it was right sitting right there so i'm really happy about that i would have been pretty upset if i shot my camcorder and destroyed it but here's another look at the back of the plate here and you could see all the torn kevlar fabric and it's a little bit hard to see. I'm gonna to try to move some of the fabric around, but you can see a little hole right there. Okay, so it punched through. That's impressive, guys. So two shots is all it took to punch through. There's the hole right there. You see that little hole? Right there. So really impressive. Look at that. Absolutely insane. I would not want to be wearing this plate if somebody was shooting at me with that 416 Ruger. And you can see all the ceramic in here got all messed up. I'm not sure exactly what happened, but there was a huge cloud of ceramic dust after I shot this thing the second time. So absolutely insane, guys absolutely insane so i think what i'm going to try to do i may try to shoot at the top because it's still good over here i'm going to shoot with the and i'm going to shoot the top with the 400 grain brass solids and let's see what happens with the 400 grain brass solids but so far the 350 grain brass solids the second shot penetrated through the la police gear level four ceramic body armor check that out okay that is just insane just wanted to kind of recreate what happened for you guys so this is how the plate was sitting and you can see the bullet exited right there and then it hit the top of the bag here and it probably just bounced up in the air so let's hit it up here now with the 400 grain brass solid and see what happens. All right, guys, 416 Ruger, 400 grain brass solid, 2,450 feet per second versus LA Police Gear level four ceramic plate. And look what happened here. The plate just flew off and landed right here. We got chunks of ceramic everywhere. Look at all those pieces of ceramic right there is another one. Got another one there. Got one right there. Got some right there. So check this out, this is insane. Look what that 400 grain 
brass solid did to the plate, it literally just destroyed all the ceramic. Look at that. Absolutely insane. We got chunks of ceramic there. Look at this. This is just insane. Three shots with a 416 Ruger and look what it did to this thing. Look at this massive bulge. Doesn't look like we have any pass through here. No pass through, but just a massive, massive bulge. I would not want to wear this plate with somebody shooting at me with these rounds. And you can actually see the slug mushroomed up and it's stuck in there. So the Kevlar did its job in catching that brass solid. But it looks like the 350 grain solids did a much better job at penetrating through the plate because they were traveling like 200 feet per second faster. So absolutely insane guys. And once again, here's our hole from the 350 grain brass solid. Check that out. You can see that hole, it just punched right through. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this plate home and we're gonna take a closer look at the plate. We're gonna try to recover the bullet fragments and just take a closer look at the damage that was done to the plate. So stay tuned. All right, guys, so before I go tearing into this plate, I just want to show you what it looks like again up close. So here we have the 400 grain brass solid, and that 400 grain brass solid just completely annihilated all of these ceramic tiles inside of the plate. And my buddy Buffman Range, also known as Matt, told me that this is the difference between cheap body armor and expensive body armor is the lamination. Okay, cheaper plates, cheaper body armor companies will use poor quality lamination and when you shoot the plate, the ceramic tiles just fall off and they don't stick well to the Kevlar. Okay, so what happened here was the energy dump from that 400 grain brass solid just broke apart all the tiles. Basically the only thing left now is just Kevlar. Okay, so this is very vulnerable now because these tiles make a huge difference in terms of being able to stop a bullet. Okay, tiles made of ceramic are very good bullet stoppers and these are quite thick as you can see about a half inch thick and this thing is missing all the tiles because of that energy dump from that massive 400 grain bullet traveling at over 2400 feet per second so that's why it's important to have a good quality plate of course most people are not going to be shooting at you with an elephant gun but it is possible you never know and nevertheless the Kevlar still stopped that 400 grain bullet. However, it did not stop the 350 grain brass solid. And I kind of suspected that 350 grain brass solid would penetrate simply because of the higher velocity and the hardness of brass. Okay, brass solids are the closest thing you can get to legally owning armor piercing ammunition. Or being able to legally purchase it anyway so you can see that exit hole and it's a little bit hard to see but you know there's your exit hole right there okay so I'm gonna take this plate apart and we'll take a closer look at the entrance hole the exit hole and take a closer look at this bullet here the 400 grain brass solid so stay tuned all right guys so i just peeled off the front layer here and you can see tons of 
brass pieces everywhere captured by the Kevlar and this is why ceramic plates are better than steel because they catch these fragments so if you had a steel plate of the same toughness as this that steel plate would stop the bullets but it wouldn't stop these pieces of brass which would probably you know hit you okay the spalling okay it's like shrapnel basically so you know the ceramic tiles and the kevlar do a excellent job at catching all these little pieces so here we have pieces from that 350 grain brass solid and you can see just chunks of brass over here okay mixed in with the broken up tile and i'm gonna try to show you guys this entrance hole a little bit better so two hits basically in the same spot the first one didn't penetrate as you guys saw but the second one went through so i'm gonna try to peel off some of these layers of kevlar so we can see what happened in greater detail and i'm gonna pull this one out as well you can see the exit hole better now you see that absolutely insane penetration and look at all these layers of kevlar it's absolutely insane it's like three quarters of an inch of kevlar and then you got these really thick tiles so super impressive 416 ruger just never disappoints let's pull this this outer layer off check this out all right so here's look at that check this out we got some fragments here little pieces of brass check that out tiny pieces captured by the kevlar but for the most part you can see that it penetrated okay so i'm gonna see if i can poke my finger through there's my finger okay so uh very impressive guys 416 ruger absolutely insane just punching through this level four plate with ease absolutely insane look at that hole looks like the whole bullet went through i'm sure it lost some of its mass but i mean that's a, a big hole i can fit my pinky through there and i have big fingers so you know it's definitely at least a half inch diameter check that out so pretty impressive let's continue peeling through some of this kevlar here see a little more of what happened yeah you can really see the hole now check this out just passed right through absolutely insane look at that so very impressive stuff guys 416 ruger always surprises me never a dull moment with the 416 ruger that's for sure always something crazy with this cartridge Let's see if there's any fragments look at this hole look at that absolutely insane check that out look at that and here we have our 400 grain brass solid you can see it made its way probably about a quarter of the way through the kevlar kevlar stopped it but it went through a good amount all right guys i want to show you how much of the kevlar the 400 grain brass solid went through so it looks like it went through 
probably about two thirds to three quarters of the Kevlar. Okay, so it went through all of this Kevlar, and this is the Kevlar that it didn't go through. So almost passed through about two thirds to three quarters of the way through that Kevlar. I'm sure one more shot in the same spot probably would have penetrated or maybe two more shots so it went through all of this kevlar look at that guys got a little penetration there through this piece of kevlar but absolutely insane i'm gonna pull this out now and let's take a closer look at it but look at this hole from the 350 grain brass solid just insane penetration look at that super impressive so let's take this 400 grain brass solid out so this is all that I could find just this little piece look at that this brass solid was just completely annihilated by that ceramic plate just this little piece left and some fragments so basically it blew apart but that's pretty much it for this one guys if you want to see more body armor penetration tests i'll leave a link in the top right corner other than that take care god bless and don't forget the three p's prepare practice and persevere